Dean, quite a raw weekend for the football club this week, but how important is it to not let, let heads drop going into Friday? Very important. Uh, we've got to pull together. Um, yeah, results wise, it's been very frustrating. I think the, our players have given everything in every game this season, and now we find ourselves in the position we are now going into the Easter weekend. And what a great opportunity of uh, reaching the playoffs. Um, and it's in our hands, that's very important. Um, what I want to see from everybody, you know, from the chairman to myself to the players to our supporters, is all of us pulling together, and all that energy uh, being focused on the football football team. Uh, come Bromley on on Friday, you know, I want their supporters to really get behind the players, make it an intimidating place to hive to be, um, make it intimidating for Bromley. It's a huge match within our season. Um, so and they're only going to get bigger from here on in the next six. So we four games at home, we two away. Um, to be fair, we've recovered quite well. To be fair, I know we have picked up injuries over the weekend, but we have recovered quite well. And the players' commitment has, has been outstanding. So it'll be more of the same come this weekend. Like you say, it's a huge game on Friday. Bromley just outside the playoffs. Uh, what what are you expecting from Bromley? They've got a four 0 win against Solly Hull. Adam Marriott returned back to the to the hive. What can you expect from Bromley? Very well organised side. Very confident at the minute. Um, I've had three wins on the bounce. Uh, to be honest with you, they beat you over one 0 but they should have won about six or seven. Now they were outstanding. Um, the front line's potent. They've got good experience. They've got good athleticism in midfield. Um, and they last week they beat um, they beat Solihull last Saturday very convincingly as well. Um, so yeah, and then obviously they showed character when they went away to Maidstone and when they were down to ten men they managed to um, score in the last minute to win that game. So um, they're in a fine vein of form. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's uh, it's going to be a very difficult game. So there's no easy games in this division. So um, we've got to perform to the level we have to. Yeah, so look, it's going to be a very difficult game. They're well organised um, and they're always in around the playoff come uh, come the 46th game of the season. They're always in around that, that, that area of the division. So, But we're looking forward to it. These are the games we want to be involved in. Um, so yeah, so it's a, it's a good test and uh, we can't wait to, uh, to take that test on. We are entering the run-in now. Six games left. As players, how important is it not to look at the lead table and just focus on that next game? Well, that's important, but we've set ourselves a points target. So from the next six games, we need to gain some a certain amount of points that, that allow us to be where we wanted to be when we back in June when we first come together. So from our point of view, um, we will always stay focused on one game at a time, one training session day, one day at a time. And that's all that's important. So like I said, we, we've recovered well. Um, we walk obviously today and tomorrow um, on how we can penetrate the game plan against Bromley. And it's just the biggest thing for me is that like, we just all really have to pull together more than ever. And, you know, that outside noise needs to come into the hive. I want to see this place rocking, not just against Wrexham, because they're in town. I want to see people get this place rocking and get behind their football club. And um, I've said it from day one, if we're not going to be all in it together, there's no point. Um, I've made mistakes. I made mistakes at the weekend, loads of them. I'm the force to look at myself. And um, players have made mistakes, but when someone makes a mistake or something happens, you're meant to back each other up. You don't splinter, you know. Uh, and there's no privileges in this business. You've got to earn everything in this business. So from what, from what their point of view, I spoke to the chairman last night. Me and him pulling tighter together than, more than ever. And then obviously I, I bring that across to the players and the supporters have got to come forward and do their bit too. So they did their bit when they travelled to. to York to the night that them loyal supporters want to thank them for that. That's unbelievable. And then obviously for the semi final last week they did that as well. So um, you know we got to keep push forward. But we've got to make the hive now. We've got four games left at the hive. We've got to make it a real, real fortress. And it's we've we've made it a fortress this season. So we want to continue that. You mentioned about that togetherness and pulling forward. Mm. I know there's still six games left, but for this season for the football club was in the playoff places. Got to a cup semi final. It's been a great year for the club. It's not over. Long way to go. It's not what I want to settle for, you know. I'd rather be in Wrexham's position because um, that's where you always strive to be. Every manager when they come into the division is probably looking and going, right, if we can get here, we can get there. We set ourselves an out outrageous points total to achieve and if we achieve that, we'll have an amazing season. So, like I say, this now is the serious business end. Um, when you get to Easter, this is where you see a lot of movements over this weekend because it's two games. So we've got to make sure that you know, we maximise our opportunity this weekend. You sort of just touched on it there. Although we'd like to 
say the next game, one game at a time, another two games in four days. Do you have to take that into account in training or team selection? Yeah, you definitely have to do. Look, if I look back on team selection, last week against Wolken, I should have left Cropper out. Um, he's now picked up a hamstring off the back of that. Nicky played 90 minutes. He's now picked up a groin off the back of the, the volume of games. Um, and ideally, we wouldn't have played two games in three days up north. Uh, they are things I think we could have avoided. Um, and that, they're the kind of things I reflect on. Um, Ryan de Havilland hasn't had a midweek break since January because he played for England C. And we've been playing... I think we'll only have two midweeks where we'll, where we'll have three. One was when we played in, against Wheelstone, where Ryan played for England C. Um, and the other is the last week of the season. So we've been playing Saturday, Tuesday or Saturday, Monday, basically since the middle of January. So it's took its effect on, on our group. But what happens off the back of that is other people get an opportunity. You know, like people like Dave Moyo get an opportunity now. He's got to come in and take it. Um, so they've got to now grab that with both hands and they've got to do their part for the squad. They've got to... For, for, and for the season, do you know what I mean? Because we want to be successful. You mentioned there, and obviously Nicky did come off at half time. Is there an update of his injury? Yeah, he's got a groin injury. Um, he's had a scan this morning, so we don't know the results of that scan. We'll find out hopefully this afternoon. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that is. Nicky, Nicky will miss, he'll definitely miss this weekend. You say he missed this weekend, and like you just touched on, we've got David Moyo and, D- and Daniel Powell in the squad. It's a great opportunity for them to step up and show you that they deserve a place in that start 11 heading into the running. Yeah, look, listen, that's what the squad's there for. That's why we added players to it. Where we added Harry Smith, uh, Jordan Cropper. Um, you know, we've we've added several players to it, to be fair. Uh, and even even Potsy. Potsy now will probably get another run on the team himself as well. So I think just from our point of view, you know, Gorman's out injured as well, actually, by the way. So we have got injuries, and the other lads have got to come in, they've got to step up to the plate. This is their opportunity to shine. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers.